It's a new twist on an old tool to catch criminals. Yeah, for years now, you could just pick up your phone and report a tip to the crime line. But soon, you'll be able to text those tips to almost every city in Hampton Roads. Hampton, Newport News, and Norfolk all plan to begin using it by the end of the month. I looked into how it's already working in other local cities. They've been dubbed Generation Text. This is the way they prefer to communicate, and local police are beginning to use it to their advantage. For us to not tap into that would be foolish. The murders of two Norfolk students recently provoked city leaders to announce a texting feature on the crime line. More than multiplies the number of eyes and ears out there of folks who, who see, see and know things that now with the, the comfort of the ability to text will be able to provide information to us that never would have called. Portsmouth, Virginia Beach, and Chesapeake are already taking text and web tips. It's been great. These are all the crime line tips Chesapeake's received this year. Several led to arrest, including one text Officer Kelly O'Sullivan opened about a man selling drugs on a corner. I called over to the precinct and some officers hopped on it, went over to the street, and sure enough, they saw the description of the vehicle, conducted a traffic stop, and sure enough, there was actually heroin. Chesapeake has received 50 text tips since March. Portsmouth, 387 in the past two years, which doubles the number of tips they used to get. And they swear it's all anonymous. I called the software company to see how that works. A spokesman told me when you send a crime line text, it's routed through a cloaking server to Canada, encrypted, then sent to the police. He said it's protected by the Canadian Supreme Court. So if you're at a crime scene or see something suspicious, you can just take a picture, then upload the picture to the crime line page. And no one will know it's you. If your text results in an arrest, police can text back via that Canadian route. And we have code words, and they just go to the bank and pick up the money. And you can pick up anywhere from $75 to $1,000, depending on the tip and the severity of the crime. As soon as Norfolk and the Peninsula Cities begin accepting texts, we will let you know where to send them. And we put a link to the others on wavy.com. By the way, information on Virginia Beach's program was not available today.